So I got my Rigel 6 today, and uh, I am only using it with nickel metal hydride batteries right now, which is not the best since it requires 3 volts in, and these are only putting out about 2.8. Uh, they're approximately 1.396 volts per cell when I just got them out of the charger. They're a little bit less now because I had it on for one full duty cycle. I'm currently using a uh, 45 seconds on, 1 minute off duty cycle, even though they recommend 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Uh, I feel it's fine because uh, it doesn't get warm and I wouldn't push it more than 45 seconds on. And it takes approximately 27 seconds to warm up and stabilize. Uh, this again is probably has more to do with the battery than uh, the actual laser itself. I'll be getting in some good alkalines soon. But, this is a 5 milliwatt Heaney beam you see right in front of you, and it's just for comparison. So, here we go. And I have my uh, stopwatch here to make sure I stay to that duty cycle. You can see it's pretty unstable at first. It does get pretty bright, though. I mean, I'm pleased with that right there, and it's not even warmed up all the way yet. 15 seconds in now. Okay, we're approaching 27 seconds, and that is right about as bright as it gets. Pretty darn good. I'm happy with it. This is with crappy batteries. We're at 40 seconds now, and you can see it starts to dip out a little bit. 45, comes back in, and coming right up on 50, and that's where I'll stop. Right there. And now it's got to be off for another minute at least. But it's still not really too warm to the touch. If I had to estimate a temperature, I'd say it feels like about 82 degrees or so in my hands. I don't have my uh, uh, my good digital thermometer set up right now. Otherwise, I'd take a measurement for you. But um, it is definitely cooler than body temperature. So I'm not too worried about that. Beautiful little laser. Quite happy with it. And I can't wait to see how it does when I get some real batteries in this.